One of the most basic things about woodworking is gluing together a panel, and it's, it's not rocket science by any means. There's many, many ways to do it. But what I want to show you is one uh, technique or one little thing you can add to your arsenal to reduce the amount of stress added to glue-ups. So one of the things that's most stressful to me is when I use my clamps as the base for my glue-up, and then I put all of my material on top of those clamps, get everything positioned the way I want to, add glue, get all my pieces lined up, and then I accidentally either bump the clamp, or maybe I have to, mo to wiggle the clamp around to get it towards the outside where it needs to be. But basically, every time you move a clamp with all the material on it, the pieces start to shift around, and then you lose your, your alignment. So years ago, I stumbled upon the, the channel of MTM Wood. That's Mike Tom Mike, MTM Wood. And he is a cutting board guru, right? So what is he doing? A lot of cutting and gluing. And he has a very basic, dedicated glue-up station. And on that station, he has two pieces of PVC pipe that all his material go on top of. And what that does is that it isolates the movement of all of your material from the clamps and vice versa. So if you, you once you get your material all situated where it needs to be, you can manipulate all of your clamps, top and bottom, without them interfering or, or messing with the positioning of the material that you've already taken the time to do or to establish. So uh, years ago in my last shop, I made some PVC riser blocks, basically PVC pipe attached to a flat piece of stock to stop it from rolling around basically the exact same setup of that MTM wood has. And uh, it worked for a lot of things. There was a couple things that I wish I would have done differently. Number one, I wish I would have made them longer. Number two, I wish I would have made more of them. And the biggest thing I wish I would have is figured out where they were when I moved to this shop. I lost them, I uh, got rid of them. I don't know what I did, but I no longer had them. So in a pinch, many, many months ago, I made um, basically the same thing out of solid wood, milled some material, flat and square, and then coat, covered them with clear packing tape. And they do the same thing, uh, but again, not long enough, wish I had more of them. So the clear packing tape is good, glue doesn't stick to it, it'll pop right off. Sometimes you'll, you'll move the material or, or these around and drag an edge and then the tape will pull up, or while you're trying to pop the, the glue off, it'll pull a little bit of the tape here and there. So these aren't maintenance free by any means. Uh, but they do the job. So what I want to do now is, as you can see, I'm trying to use these, and this panel's longer than these, is finally just stop what I'm doing and make those riser blocks, um, glue up blocks, whatever you want to call them, um, that I've been wanting to make for quite a while now. So I'm going to make four, six of them. I'm not exactly sure how, I'm going, how many I'm going to make, but I have two 10-foot sticks of PVC. There are They are two-inch PVC, and if I secure them to a three quarter inch piece of material, I should be between three and, and three and a quarters of an inch in height, something like that. My initial thought was to cut a four foot, three foot, and two foot section out of each one of these 10 foot sticks, but that would leave me with a little bit of waste that I really kind of couldn't use that, that uh, easily. So instead, I think I'm gonna make two cuts at 47 inches. That'll be just, just fine for a 48 inch wide panel and have the remaining piece be about 26 inches, which would be good for a two foot panel. That'll leave me with four pieces that are about four feet long and then two pieces that are shorter at two feet long. The two, two, the two feet pieces will be great for stuff like cutting boards. And then the four four foot pieces will be great for larger stuff like dining tables. For the flat stock on the bottom, I will recommend an engineered panel of some kind. This is three quarter inch melamine, just some scraps that I had. I had a bunch of stuff that was 22 inches in length and I ripped that down to two inches in width and just screwed them to the bottom of all this stuff. So it's not as long as this, this short tube that I'm holding right here, this short piece of PVC, but that's totally fine. It's not gonna affect anything. It doesn't have to be the exact length. So I have two pieces that are 26 inches in length and these will be fantastic for stuff like cutting boards and whatnot. And then I was able to get four, obviously, uh, at 47 inches in length. And for these, again, I still use that same, um, that same stock melamine that I had, 22 inches in length. It doesn't matter if this is not one continuous piece, but it does matter that these are coplanar. So take your time there if you do something like this, uh, just using up scrap material to make sure that these are all on the same plane and you don't have any twist in this that will cause these to rock. The cool thing is, uh, I can store these right in my assembly table. I was going to 
drill a hole in the side and then just hang them up on the wall somewhere. But these all fit inside my assembly table. Uh, this is a Polk, P-A-U-L-K, Polk style table. And all of these uh, glue up blocks, glue up platforms, whatever I call them, whatever you want to call them, uh, they will all fit inside my assembly table out of the way, but ready to be used at the station that they will always be used at. Uh, that's it for this video. You guys take care. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next video.